Hey everyone, it's Holmes from Home Storybooks and today I'm here to share a try a chapter tag with you. The essence of a try a chapter tag is where you read the chapter of a book and decide if you want to read it. My tag has a little variation and that is that my tag will focus on books I've borrowed from friends. Most of these books I've had for more than a year so I need to decide if I want to read them or give them back. The first one is Chorus of Mushrooms by Hiromi Goto and this was lent to me by Colleen of Little Ghost Creations. Everyone and the dog says I will absolutely love this book, but I still haven't read it. Chorus of Mushrooms is a Japanese-Canadian family saga that spans multiple generations and includes some very dark parts of Canada's history. It's part folklore, part legend, part magical realism, and all about women. I'm going to love it. It's actually one of the books for my 5-star predictions video. Not sure when that is going up, but hopefully soon. I want to get this read so I can finally give it back and rave about how good it is. Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Wong was another one that was on my 5 star predictions list. I first heard about this on Ween and Wonders channel. She totally adored it because of his command of language and how beautiful the imagery in his poetry was. Wong is dyslexic so he reads more slowly and perceives words as objects rather than language. Wong is Vietnamese American and identifies as LGBTIQA+, which just means I will love it all the more. My friend Courtney lent this to me and we have very similar reading tastes, particularly when it comes to poetry, so I can't read this one soon enough. Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie was given to me by my friend Tomash. He loves books that focus on writing, on language, on playing with writing and language. I generally accept any books from him that otherwise sound uninteresting because I know the language is going to be excellent. I've never read any Rushdie before and I'm pretty intimidated not only by the author himself, but by the length of this book. However, Tomash has recommended me books that were five star reads. Kiss of the Fair Queen by Thompson Highway was one of the first five star reads of the year for me, so I just need to read a chapter and trust his judgment. Mistress of the Art of Death by Ariana Franklin was given to me by my friend Charlotte. Charlotte reads lots of historical fiction, classics, and I think she also likes thrilling, crimey kind of books. I find that while my tastes often overlap with Charlotte, we can have differing opinions about the same book. Regardless, I love reading with her. We buddy read really often and I adore reading books with her. I'm now starting to read different types of books because of her, or books I would normally take 500 years to get to, and so far I've loved all the books we've read together. Mistress of the Art of Death is about crime in medieval Cambridge where a king sends for a master of the art of death an early medical examiner. Instead, he gets Adelia, who is a mistress of the art of death. There's crime, political intrigue, witchcraft accusations. I hope this is really atmospheric and gothic and compelling. Charlotte's recommendations for me can be a bit unexpected, but then when I read them, I adore them. Like in the case of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, which is an 800 page historical fiction novel that I read in three days. The next one is very well known and it is The Shining by Stephen King. This was recommended to me by my friend Sam who reads lots of horror, crime and comics. I've seen the film of this starring Jack Nicholson which I'm hoping will draw me into the book. The scenes from the film alone are so iconic. This is about Jack Torrance, a writer who takes his small family to take care of a very isolated hotel for the winter, and then shit goes up really fast. I must stop avoiding this, it's time to welcome Stephen King into my life. The last one was lent to me by my friend Chelsea, and it is Motorcycles and Sweet Grass by Drew Hayden Taylor. Hayden Taylor is Ojibwe, and this story is a middle grade novel about a young boy called Virgil, whose mother, Maggie, chief of the reserve, falls for a handsome stranger astride a motorcycle. Virgil suggests that not is all as it seems and thinks they have a trickster in their midst, so he enlists his uncle to help him. Chelsea is an educator and knows how much I love representation in books, so I'm so grateful to borrow this beautiful edition. I can't wait for humour and hijinks. Okay, I've got some reading to do and I'll get back to you once I've read a few chapters and prologues. Alright, I'm back. I read a few first chapters and a few prologues and I love pretty much all of them, which is great. My friends clearly have excellent taste and know my taste very well. In their order, I'd love to read Chorus of Mushrooms, but I'm going to wait until I'm not reading so many books at the same time. It feels like a disservice to read multiple books and this book. 
I love the first chapter though, it was so atmospheric and rhythmic and I was really able to see Koto's story unfolding in front of me. If I can visualize the story really easily, I know it's going to be good. Night Sky with Exit Wounds was a little lackluster for me, dare I say. I haven't given up on it yet, but the first two or three poems didn't wow me like I thought they would. His poems just had a different tone. Maybe I just have to get used to that tone of voice, or maybe he just doesn't write the kind of poetry I like. We'll see. Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Whoa. I was surprised by how much I loved this book. It's set in the 1900s and is about a person who is born on the eve of India's independence at midnight. He is one of a handful of people who is endowed with a special gift, which he can either be the master of or fall victim to. I can see why Tomash lent this to me. There's such a humour in his work, and it's not just that it's funny, it uses humour as a vehicle to carry other parts of the scene and discuss human intricacies. The one thing I will say is sometimes his writing is really wordy, so I will need lots of time to sit down and read this and really chew on my thoughts chapter by chapter. I've already made some notes of some of my favourite quotations, stethoscoped return, and while I sit like an empty pickle jar, just made my heart really happy. Mistress of the Art of Death by Ariana Franklin was one of the ones that I was m the most apprehensive about. I already had preconceptions about what this novel would read like and sound like and feel like, and immediately all of my preconceptions were wrong. This thing reads like Chaucer with a murder mystery in it. The use of oral beats in written text, as if someone's actually telling you the story, is incredible and brings such a lightness to what otherwise might be a miserable, grim, heavy text. I was reading it and I was like, I've been sleeping on this book, like how have I not read it yet? Every time I meet with Charlotte, she'd be like, have you read it yet? And now I understand, Charlotte, I understand. <laughs> I can't wait to continue on with this one. The Shining. I read and enjoyed the first chapter just fine, but I think it's going to go back on the shelf for a little while longer. It has a very masculine voice and masculine style, and it's just not something I'm in the mood for. Sam sent me lots of other books though, so it's not as if I'm out of recommendations from her. Motorcycles and Sweetgrass by Drew Hayden Taylor is the book I will probably read before going to bed tonight. Oh my god, it was so funny, I was almost laughing out loud. I love the imagery and the author's gentle cheeky asides. I thought about reading another chapter, but really had to hold myself back. I knew if I started, I wouldn't put it down. This is a middle grade novel, so it should only take me a couple of days to read. And I feel proud of Chelsea for suggesting such a good read to me, like, she knows me so well. Interesting that a couple of the books on the list are in my 5 star predictions tag, and they are Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Wong and Chorus of Mushrooms by Hiromi Goto. Maybe part of the reason why they're on the back burner is because of that perceived 5 star pressure. Or I just want to give the works the attention they deserve. That and I have like 22 library books out right now, so I have to read those too. I loved doing this tag and I'll have to do it again soon. Doing a variation on this tag gave me such warm fuzzies and I'm so so grateful for all the friends who lent me books. You guys are the best. The next time I do this tag, I think I'll do like a read or return to the library kind of interpretation where I have to give some books back to the library because of due dates. Are you interested in reading any of these books? Have you ever had a friend recommend you a wonderful book? Or do your tastes differ from everyone else's? I'd love to know. Let's talk in the comments below. Bye everyone!